Supporters and opponents of a ballot initiative on water treatment for hard rock mines have filed campaign practice complaints against each other. Initiative 186 would require operators of all new metal mines to provide proof they won't require permanent water treatment. Yes, for responsible mining, the committee supporting I-186 filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission claiming the opponent's campaign was using foreign contributions. The complaint focuses on Sandfire Resources America, the company developing the proposed Black Butte Copper Project near White Sulphur Springs. The company is headquartered in Vancouver, Canada, and is a subsidiary of an Australian company. The complaint argues it's a foreign national which are not allowed to contribute to elections. Sandfire America contributed $270,000 to the Montana Mining Association, one of the leading groups opposing I-186, and also provided additional in-kind support for the Stop I-186 Committee. Opponents of I-186 called the complaint a stunt. Meantime, Stop I-186 to protect miners and jobs, the committee opposing the initiative filed its own complaint with the State Commissioner of Political Practices, arguing supporters of I-186 sent thousands of voters a text message promoting it without including clear attribution of who paid for the messages. It also claims the messages misrepresented the environmental risks under current mining laws. Leaders of the I-186 campaign admitted sending about 56,000 text messages. They said there was not enough room to include attribution because of the text length limit. They said the commissioner's office decided they would have to give advance notice that the messages would not have to include attribution.